Oh, here we are again now and it's like no time has passed Gazing out upon the sunset as it sinks into the night Many times it seemed as though a given day might be our last Face to face with certain death, it's somehow coming out alright I don't think that we have any cause to lament But there's quite a lot of thrilling intent Thrilling intent Thrilling intent, thrilling intent. You piece together rumors and bits of hearsay from a group of exceptionally unhelpful ASMR, now concerned entirely with pros uh, prospects of group therapy. And this sets you on a trail towards a part of Tannhauser you have already well-traveled. After a few hours of tracking, you find your way back to a heavily wooded glen, surrounded on all sides by these thick, choking vines. Beyond them, you discover something that you thought to be devastated during the combat, but it seems, at least for now, it stands untouched. Mercy and Faria's mansion... Um, congratulations on your house not being smashed. Ah, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your assistance figuring out what we're going to do about the whole bread brain situation. Um, he, like, moves back and forth. Well, uh, I'm glad that everything here is intact. You all have been tremendously wonderful house guests. Uh, thank you for being polite and keeping cursing to a minimum. I can see you attempting, failing, but attempting. And I appreciate the effort at the very least. <laughs> <laughs> and Ian like looks over. These lips were made for exactly two things. One is uttering guttural curses and the two is eating your food. He <laughs> 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 rubs his yeah, forehead. Beautiful. Okay, so um, what do you say we attend to the current guest of honor? He moves up in this direction, and Ian's, like, looking back, like, okay, well, time for each of our pitches. Harlock, you look like you've got something good. Is that a diorama behind your back? Yes, I was planning on giving a presentation. Do you feel like it's too much? Uh, no, no, now I feel like I've got up my own game. All I've got are sock puppets. No, you don't have to. They're gonna pick mine. <laughs> uh, well, um... Now it's an actual competition, so I'm going to go as hard as physically possible with these sock puppets. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thank you all again for um, tending to the garden. Uh, he looks over to the twins. You all have been very helpful. He, like, scrunkles their hair. Of course we have. We're always on our best behavior, which reminds us. Uh, they walk up to Granola, <laughs> and they have... Pl just picked apart this garden to make a bouquet. Aww. So the garden looks terrible now, but at least there's a nice little bouquet. A oh, maybe, maybe <laughs> a bouquet and a flower crown for granola? <laughs> oh, yes. The world granola. granola's a shitload yeah. of flowers, so yeah, that, that part yeah. of the garden is a mess. Granola quietly takes the crown, and you feel a sense of raw appreciation Aww. wash from them over the room. Meanwhile, Free is looking at all the al alchemical plants like, yes, very helpful. Mm -hmm. hey, it's okay. Oh, you've given a, them a halo. It's okay, I saved I saved. Why are my kids cute? We can, we can plant them whenever we're done here. I, yes, of course, we can rebuild and regrow, so... <sighs> Granola, uh, we all have some propositions for you related to your current state of existence, as well as a new body. Uh, Freya looks around. Harlock, why don't you lead us off? Um, yeah, sure. Before <laughs> we start having a conversation with you, uh, I did come up with an idea to help you communicate with us, uh, if you are so interested. It's a little bit grotesque. <laughs> But okay. I think it'll work. I'm, I'm building anticipation. Is I'm, everybody? I'm anticipating interested? as hard as I possibly can. Please tell us. I think uh -huh. I'm just. I'm. I'm really happy. I think it's a very neat idea. <laughs> Knowing you, one moment she shields the children's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. So what I've done is I've taken the guts of one of the fallen angels that we've defeated Ooh. earlier. Oh. It wasn't. It wasn't completely dead. Um. <laughs> 
Yeah. So right. what I found out is that if you remove the angelic core, uh, granola is able to communicate uh, intentions to other angels, correct? Mm, granola nods. Yes. So what I've done is I've made a pseudo angel and she pulls out of her backpack this fishbowl <laughs> with a little thing underneath. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, as you can see, this is a fishbowl filled with metal shavings <laughs> and magnets. Yeah. And the angelic core can move the magnets in which to create shapes so that granola can communicate. Huh. That's kind of oh. fun. Fudged up. How does a magnet talk? <laughs> well, it's shavings, so you can make shapes. Wait, so like, so like granola can make letters, but then don't we first have to teach granola language and how to speak? Granola's and spell? going to reach for the fishbowl. She will hand you the fishbowl. That is granola. Sus granola suspends it above their head <laughs> and then makes an exclamation point. Wow. <laughs> oh wow! See, that is oh. so. Devilishly clever, but disgusting. Wow, wow. Can we have one? <laughs> no. <laughs> sure, I don't see why not. There's plenty of almost dead angels all over Mom, the place. you would not say no to a gift from our guest, would you? Hey, now, kids. Hardlock, how kids? dare you be... force me into the social situation? <laughs> it would be rude. You have to train with a normal Etch-A-Sketch first. <laughs> why? And Marcus pulls an Etch-A-Sketch out, out of his bag. Whoa! <laughs> because those are the those are the rules. Are those the rules? Looks at Faria. <laughs> I. You know what? You've created a barrier to entry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, kids. I'll add an angelic core to the etch a sketch eventually. <laughs> okay, that's a promise. It's a you, promise from Auntie Harlock. You said that in full view and in <laughs> full... Uh, we gestures to himself in mercy. We both heard that. <laughs> yes. No, I, I think you might be mistaken. I didn't hear anything, actually. <laughs> well, uh, that's fine, because the parents heard, and that's what's important here. <laughs> well, it could have been a shared hallucination. It's more common you watch, than you would think. You watch the goobers with the etch -a sketch they both take one side and are working in, like, frightening Whoa. unison to draw <laughs> something. <laughs> she, she, like, hmm. God, like, Freya has a moment of, mm, okay, Harlock, that was genuinely brilliant. Uh, I know. What? Hmm. Well... Do you want to continue leading on with suggestions for the body itself, or are you going to pass it over to the rest of us? Um, well, I don't want to start with me. I feel like that's um, disadvantageous. So That's um, why I was offering you uh, to go first. Yeah, why doesn't somebody with a bad idea start first? <gasps> well! <Wow! laughs> <laughs> what do you think about robots? I'll tell you what you think about I think robots that, because I think you really good. <laughs> yeah, you understand our intentions. You get it. Uh, Harlock, in slow motion, you realize you realize something. You are at a horrific disadvantage in this because the two most exuberant people in the room are about to communicate to the being that understands intent exclusively their idea. You have to do something fast if you're gonna parry this terrible idea from happening. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, she runs over to the kids. <laughs> hmm. Oh, coming back so soon? <laughs> yeah, I, d I don't have, I don't have the angelic core right now, but what I do have is a bag of money if you guys can mess up this pitch for me. Hmm, <laughs> does money buy us? I don't know. <laughs> what can we do? It buys happiness. <laughs> well, tell that to mom and dad. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. How much money? They, they look at each other. <laughs> They're shaking you down. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about a cartoonish bag of money? <laughs> well, the money better be real. I only deal in real things. <laughs> Ooh. They look at each other again and turn back. Well, wait. What about, what about those imaginary numbers in math, though? Um, they're real to me, damn it. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I can't really argue with that. Carry on. <gasps> they cover their mouths? Uh-oh. Also, I'll teach you how to swear. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, that's what? cheating. That's cheating. That's, 
I, I definitely. You, you know, you're saying this like aloud, right? <laughs> uh, excuse me, yes. mother, father. We're in the middle of a business deal. <laughs> <laughs> How much you got? And they're, and they're doing a wonderful job. You should be incredibly proud. I love I mean, the how much you got in terms of swears. Like how many swears do you <laughs> have? I'll have you know that I am a close personal pen pal of one Indian over there, and she has invented swear words that will last throughout the ages. You should go straight to her and cut out the middleman kids. Are you giving us an exclusive? <laughs> exclusive swear words. <laughs> None of the kids at school will be saying them this yet. This swear word is a pre-order bonus. <laughs> <laughs> we could really impress the new kids. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Mom said we were going to go to school soon. Also, you'll be rich. <laughs> we will be rich. Yeah, if we can't buy them with our personalities, we can buy them with money. <laughs> Kira, I think the Harlock and the kids are up to something. <laughs> I hold on, we gotta pitch fast then. Uh, let's go. Uh, robot, really, really, robots are really cool. Uh, you'll have robots a you'll really have cool. a fist rocket made of launcher metal. arm, laser eyes. You got you gotta have a big jaw for crushing up rocks. Jetpack. Look at this. Can't forget the jetpack. A, a, a jetpack for flight. I know you can fly already, but why fly? And what's that? Breathing fire? No God, problem. <laughs> I love fire. How about you, Marcus? Oh, I am on fire figuratively with how exciting this idea is. And you could be on fire literally, too, if you oh, had fire if breath. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I'm not lucky enough to have that opportunity, unlike some people. He <laughs> you. meaningfully at Granola. <laughs> <laughs> Melody and Mallory look back. Looks like you're running out of time. So, uh, <laughs> Melody extends hands. Money swears. <laughs> Yeah, she pulls out a comical size bag of money and she gives it to Melody. And then she pulls out a comical sized bag that says swear. And gives it to Mallory. Oh, that's got a good heft to it. Oh, this is going to be heckin' huge. <laughs> you learn quick. So, what do you need? I need you to um, stop this. They're too charismatic, the two of them. <laughs> They're going to like their idea, even if it's bad. Ah, uh, okay. Well, if you tell us your idea, we can amplify it. Ooh. Are you saying that we can cheat without <clears throat> visibly cheating? It's not cheating if you paid us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. I'll tell you my idea. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you whisper off to the side. So, robots? Got it. Steal? Patriotism? Um, they... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, robots <laughs> represent uh, the um, uh, indomitable spirit of this every, fine everyone. nation. What what country is this again? This is Tannhauser. Thank you. This fine nation of Tannhauser. <laughs> <laughs> These goobers just sit down and stare blankly at granola but they are just feedback looping the concept that uh, um, that Harlock, has. <laughs> Harlock did and we're like this is the best idea ever Mallory's is adding in a lot of colorful language though recently <laughs> from They're the so swears smart. bag <laughs> granola is downloading new swears most of these aren't actual swears <laughs> no it's a lot of like fudging heckin yeah. she's like heckin is a swear I can't believe I've been swearing the whole time and mom didn't know <laughs> God, I'm so cool. Harlock <laughs> opens coat. Hey, kids, you know these swears fell off the back of a truck. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and that is our pitch. Okay, Marcus, let's jump backflip and then take a bow. Backflip, and you set off the pyrotechnics. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> they Marcus both takes the flower bed. Um. I, uh, okay, 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 okay. It's fine. <laughs> well, Here, I'll, I'll post sexy like among the flowers, or what, what remains of the flowers. Marcus Very nice. Um, okay, well, I suppose I'll go next. Um, so, the best that I can offer you is a situation most similar to our wonderful, our wonderful, wonderful twins. Um, I can equip you with a body that is functionally similar in nature to that of a, that of a human. Um... Does Whoa. that sound at all appealing? It's just straightforward. Very few 
flamethrowers, etc. But if you want the mm-hmm. genuine experience, I can offer that. They stare blankly. I see. Hmm? Perhaps having a partner for the pitch would have been a good idea. Well, hey, it's no, no, still no, you're doing there great, if you man. Human bodies are awesome. They break very easily, but it's kind of fun <laughs> having one. Unless you train them. Unless you train them, like Gregor. Oh, if you have a human body, you can start weak and then get strong. Ooh. I mean, there is that. Um, I'll, I'll be your partner, dear. You didn't have to ask. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> you know, um, the twins are actually quite durable. Um, if that matters at all to you. But most importantly, they can feel, um, you know, they can feel the comfort and warmth of another. Uh, they feel pain, embarrassment, many things. (laughs) (laughs) Well, sure, a lot of, a lot of negative (laughs) things, but, and she holds out her hands. I, I can't. And this is going to continue the rest of my life until I can't feel anything. Um. So this is an opportunity for you to have something that I wish I could, quite frankly. I'm not trying to guilt you into anything, but having the opportunity to experience another sense could be pretty remarkable, I'd wager. You could enjoy nice warm bubble baths. You could uh, enjoy the colds uh, of, of winter from like a snowball fight and things of the sort. It... There's a lot to experience through it. The satisfying pain when you get stabbed and know that you'll heal back stronger? Uh, Mm. Sure. They're being pretty cleanly won over by this, actually. Hmm. I actually suppose I can jump in as a tandem partner, as my idea is quite similar. Um, I don't know the technology that you use to create your children. Mm. Um, I don't know how babies are made. We do. (laughs) <laughs> what do you mean you do? <laughs> uh, but I can vouch for the uh, concept, and she motions over to her arm that robots cannot feel. And um, um, well, I mean, I, I think well, she has us there. She does. She does I have mean, us there. Depends on really what you mean by feel. Like, yeah. I mean, it has been argued that it's possible to teach a robot how to love, so we could... Yeah, exactly. It's the perfect emulation of an emotion, non the motion itself. Really? If we're talking about it? Well, prob- I mean, it really kind of depends on the quality of the actual... Yeah, it's actually I mean, a very it, interesting philosophical point. If, mm. you're, if you're poking down into the, like, the, the, the theoretical black box that exists mm-hmm, on mm-hmm. how robots determine their information, there is yeah. a certain stage of unknown that is directly equal to the human experience. It could be argued. It could be argued. Anyways. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, to my point, when I was in a uh, bit of a darker place, I did have uh, prototype plans for an alternative body if this current body that I am in were to suddenly cease functioning. Really? Uh, the Yes. Um, oh. It's actually in my lab. It's It was there in the episode. <laughs> 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 um, I think that that technology could be repurposed in a way Using a homunculus as a core, which would, hmm. in a way, give you flesh, <laughs> maybe not as durable you know, as the marble children. But you know, actually, uh, imp cells are really easy to replicate and <laughs> kind of grow in, a ma- grow in just like a basic protein matrix. <laughs> I don't know if that's well, something I, that you're interested in, but... I am very interested in that. <laughs> are we concerned about the possible connection between a chaotic being and a truly lawful being coming together with that wait are that you mesh? calling imps chaotic no i'm ca- what? they're what? lawful imp- they're like demons right, oh, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah no that i'm sorry yeah no my bad. they're very they're very or- orderly people they are it's true actually in a way it would be our chance to create god <laughs> also it wouldn't be it wouldn't be that like it's an actual imp it would be that it is a body constructed using some of the same building blocks as an imp Sorry, oh, so we, she'd be are, red, are, are, which would are, be cute. Are we, uh, are we, are we breezing past the create god line? Oh, I assume okay, if we just... Okay, okay, we are. <laughs> I assume if we just left it alone, um... Uh, it would go away? It would, it would go away. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, uh, okay. And, uh, Harlock, what do you mean? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, if we let it go away, it'll keep me up at night. Harlock, what do you mean? Um, 
as any good alchemist, I am interested in creating two things that cannot coexist in one being, which oh. in essence is God. I see. It's, that's how is it God? I'm not getting that part actually. How how is that? How is that God? Oh, the it's, concept. Yeah, no, she's she's talking about the perfect duality of all creation, not like right. a being called God, but a uh-huh. being that encompasses all things must therefore be oh, God. In alchemical. It sounds like only two things. You guys have fought all kinds of things that are called gods, but no. they died, so they suck. Yeah. I'm talking about the alchemical concept of God, which would be perfect. A being that a being wow. that encompasses all create all facets of all creation. Yeah, not like a not a self appointed like deity or something like that. I uh-huh. pick up what you're putting down. Wait, it's, I'm glad you yeah. paid attention in class. <laughs> it's perfect, but it would be made of imp. <laughs> Mer- well, yes. made yeah. of some of the things that make an imp. Presumably, so, we'd be using a different blueprint, like, I don't know, a, a human blueprint or something closer to it. I mean, I guess it really depends on what Granola wants, because if Granola wants to just be an imp, we could probably arrange that. That'd be pretty easy. Yeah. Less material hmm. needed. <laughs> you say it's an alchemist's dream. Do you, do <laughs> you want, is this something you've wanted? You've wanted to make God? Absolutely not. I have no idea what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I love Freya. 